In this video, we will try to understand the error that we have seen at the end of the previous video. And of course, we will try to fix it. So let's return to the browser. And here you see that the error occurs on line 2 of the director.cfm page. Now, line 2 of that page is where we try to use the page service element that we defined in the application scope using the unapplication start method in the previous video. Now, for some reason, that page service element here is undefined, and this is what causes the error. Now that we know that, the investigation can begin. The application.pageService element is created in the unapplication start method of the application.cfc component. If that element does not exist, maybe it's because the unapplication start method did not run, and so the component instance that we try to use has not been created. So the question becomes, why did an application start not run? You know that the an application start method runs only when a request is sent to an application that is turned off. And so the application has to turn on. And that is when an application start is fired. Well, that's it. You have it. The application was already running when we tested the page. It was already running because the timeout of two hours was not reached. In other words, there has been less than two hours between the previous request and the one that caused the error. Consequently, the unapplication start was not fired, the component instances were not created, and of course the director.cfm cannot use an object that does not exist. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder now that we understand the problem. We will fix it with another method of the application.cfc which is in this case, let's not forget once again the commenting best practices, the on request start method. Remember that this method on request start will be fired automatically just before processing the requested page. So let's create that method here using another CF function tag block. The name of the method is on request start. That method also returns a boolean value. So I need to write in the function's body a CF return tag, which sends back a value of true to the application server. And once again, this is how ColdFusion knows that on request start is finished and that it can safely move on to the next step of the process, which is processing the actual page that has been requested. Now, in addition to that, this function also requires an argument. So I need a CF argument tag. The name of that argument is target page. It is an argument of type string. So it's a string of text. And it is a required argument. All right. This argument simply is the name of the requested page. We'll see that in a few minutes. Now, inside of the function, I will use that function to handle some special URL parameters. So I will use here a CF if tag. And I will check with the is defined function if URL dot restart app is present in the URL. So if I have question mark restart app at the end of the URL. And if I have that flag in the URL, then I use CF set to run this dot on application start. So in other words, I force on application start if I have this parameter present in the URL. Now let's save application.cfc and let's return to director.cfm and run it again in the browser. Now, of course, I have the same error, but let's scroll down here to take a look at the debugging information. And here you see that on request start has been fired just before processing the page. You also see the value of the target page argument here, which is the name of the file that has been requested, director.cfm. Now let's add that restart app parameter in the URL. And I will run the page again. And here you see that it works because if I take a look at the debug information, you see that on request start has been fired. 
it has detected this flag here in the URL and that has forced on application start to run and that has created the instances of the components in the application scope. Another proof here is the scope variable you see in the application scope we have the application name but we now have one instance of each of the components that we need. So it all works in this case. Let's return to ColdFusion Builder because if it works for director.cfm it also works for the other pages. So here in history I can safely remove that first CF set statement that creates another instance of the page service component and instead I will use the same instance the one that is in the application scope. Let's save that page and run it and you see that it works also and it has used the same instance of the page service component as the director.cfm page so no need to create a new instance of that component each time we want to see a page of our website which is a very good thing for the performance of a website of course. With this example you have seen how you can use the methods of the application framework to alter the lifecycle of a request and to make your application respond to some special URL flags. Now there is some housekeeping work to do on your application. In the next exercise you will rewrite the other pages of your application so that they all use the instances of the components that are in the application scope instead of recreating new instances of those components at each request. The step-by-step -step instructions are in the PDF file whose name is now on the screen and once again take your time to do that exercise and get used to those procedures. I will meet you in a few minutes for the next video